Big Anthony and the Magic Ring, Story and Pictures by Tommy Paola. Winter time was very quiet in the little town in Calabria where Strega Nana, Grandma Witch, and her helper Big Anthony lived. People came to Strega Nana to help them solve their troubles. Big Anthony did his chores and tried to behave himself, and every morning Bambalona, the baker's daughter, came to deliver the bread. One day the sun began to shine a little brighter, the birds began to sing a little sweeter, and the flowers began to bloom everywhere. Spring had come, and Big Anthony began to drag his feet. Anthony, said Streganona, whatever is the matter? You're sleeping late, your chores are half done, and every time I look at you, you're gazing into space and sighing. Oh, Streganona, I don't know what's wrong with me, said Big Anthony. Everything in my head is a fuzzy. I think you have a spring fever, said Streganona. What do you need is a little night life. Why don't you go to the village dance tonight? It would uh, perk you up. Big Anthony sighed again. The villagers seem so far away, he said. And anyway, who would uh, dance with me? Bambalona, the baker's daughter, would, said Streganona. Why don't you ask her when she brings the bread? Who? asked Big Anthony, for in truth he had never noticed her. When supper was finished and Streganona was straightening up her cupboard, she suddenly stopped and said to herself, Um, a little nightlife, that's not a bad idea. It's been quite a while since I went to the village and danced the tarantella. Then she began to bang the little drawers open and shut, looking into each of them. The noise startled Big Anthony, who was sitting just outside, gazing at the moon. What is the Streganona doing? he asked himself, peeking through a crack in the door. Aha! Here it is, said Streganona, holding up a tiny golden ring. I haven't used this in a years. She slipped the ring on the first finger of her right hand and then began to sing. Oh, little band, my golden band ring, listen to the song I sing. Make me a look as I do not, and to the village a dance I'll trot. There was a puff of smoke, and instead of Streganona, there stood a beautiful lady in elegant clothes. Big Anthony could hardly believe his eyes. Secretly, Big Anthony followed the beautiful lady all the way to the village square. And there he watched her dance the tarantella all night long. When the dance was over, Big Anthony followed her back to Streganona's house. There the lady sang, Oh, a shiny band, my golden ring, again the little song I sing. The dance is done, the moon does wane, turn me back to me again. Then she slipped the ring off her finger. With a puff of smoke, there was Streganona. Oh, whispered Big Anthony, if only I could get that ring, I would be the handsomest man in all of Calabria, and all the village ladies would want to dance with the me. Big Anthony decided to wait for his chance, which came the very next morning after Bambalona brought the bread. Anthony, I must go and visit my godchildren, said Streganona. Now, that's a Easter tide. Be a good ragazzo, stay out of trouble, do your chores, and don't drag your feet. See, si, yes, Dragonona, said Big Anthony. All day long, Big Anthony waited. Finally, when the sun went down, he ran inside and rummaged through the drawers of Dragonona's magic cupboard until he found the tiny golden ring. He pushed it on the first finger of his right hand as far as it would go. Then he sang, Oh, a little band, my golden ring, listen to the song I sing. Make me look as I do not, and to the village dance I'll trot. There was a puff of smoke. Big Anthony rushed to the mirror and looked. The face looking back at him was certainly not his own. 
there stood a handsome big Anthony in elegant clothes. Aha! shouted handsome big Anthony. And uh, and now for a little night life. When he strolled into the village, everyone was dancing the tarantella in the middle of the square. In a second, handsome big Anthony was surrounded by all the ladies there, young and old, fat and thin, pretty and not so pretty. They had never seen such a handsome man in all their lives. Come, Come and dance, dance with, with us, us, each of them cried, pulling at his arms. Round and round they went, dancing the tarantella. So, now this is a little nightlife, thought handsome big Anthony happily. After several hours, handsome big Anthony was beginning to get a little tired, but the ladies wouldn't let him stop dancing. Caro, they cried, dance with, with me, me, Caro, me, Caro, and they began to push and shove. They pushed and shoved so much that at last, handsome big Anthony got scared. Un momento, uh, just a minute, let me catch my breath, he cried. But the pushing and shoving and grabbing and kissing only went on more. Handsome big Anthony began to run. The ladies began to run too, after him. Handsome big Anthony stopped and sang, Oh, a shiny band, my golden ring, again the little song I sing. The dances are done, the moon does wane, turn me back to me again, please. Then he tried to take off the ring, but it stuck fast. Ah, mamma mia, he cried, what am I going to do? Past the fountain, past the priest, past the sisters of the convent on their way to prayers, he ran. Out through the gate, past the goats, into the countryside. Me, 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 that's a with the amore. amore, cried the ladies close behind. Handsome big Anthony continued to run. Again he sang the song, although he was out of breath. Again he tugged at the ring, but it wouldn't budge. At last he climbed a cypress tree, up to the very top. Now he had nowhere to go. Help, uh, save me, help, he cried. And he sang some more and tugged some more, but it did no good. The ladies reached the tree and shook it hard, shook and shook and shook it. Come down, you handsome devil, you. Dance with us some more. With Maria, Maria Concetta, Clorinda, Clorinda, Rosanna, Rosanna Caressa, Caressa, Francesca, Francesca Clotilda, Clotilda, they cried. Finally, they shook the tree so hard that handsome big Anthony lost his grip and flew into the air. Oh, oh no, he cried. Now will they get to me for sure? He landed on his handsome big nose right in front of a little house, Streganona's house. And Streganona was home from her visit. It didn't take her the time to blow three kisses to see what had happened. Anthony, she said, where did you get my magic ring? Oh, Streganon, help me, please. I, I only wanted a little fun, just a little nightlife. I, I sing the song, but the, the ring is stuck. What am I to do? Here they come. They're after me. Please, make me me again. Streganon opened a flagon of olive oil and rubbed some on his finger. Now, she said, sing. Handsome big Anthony loudly sang, Oh, a shiny band and my golden ring, again the little song I sing. The dances are done, the moon does wane, turn me back to me again. The ring slipped off his finger, and when the puff of smoke had cleared, there sat plain big Anthony. Where, where is, is he? he? Oh, oh where, where did he go? go? Where, where is, is that, that handsome, handsome devil? devil? cried the ladies from the village. There is a no one here, as you can see, but me and a big Anthony, said Streganona. Calling, wait, wait for us, the ladies rushed away, and soon they were out of sight. Oh, Anthony, said Streganona, you will never learn. Streganona, you will save my life, never again, I promise, never will I touch your magic, cried big Anthony. Never mind, big Anthony, said Streganona with a smile. There are other kinds of magic in the spring. And that is the end of Big Anthony and the Magic Ring. <laughs>